Hey you guys, um, it is Stephanie, and I am going absolutely bananas with, I have so much stuff on my desk over here, but I guess that's the sign of a productive person, huh, when you have made a ginormous mess. Um, I have been doing the, um, what is it, the mopping glow in the clear acrylic ornaments, and I wanted to show you guys a couple of things, um, and for those of you that don't know, because I did run into, um, there was a woman at Michael's, and she had some of the clear ornaments that had the, the, um, black Santa belt around it, and she wanted to know, you know, she kept uh, holding a thing of red glitter and saying, how do you paint it with the glitter? How do you paint it with the glitter? So, um, for those of you that don't know, um, Mop and Glow is the way to go with that. Um, just squirt your Mop and Glow um, floor finisher um, on the inside of your ornament. You know, make sure it's completely coated, swirl it around a couple times, yada yada. And then, oops, and then drain it out. Mine are still trying to dry completely. Um, and then drain it out. And um, then put your, whatever you're going to put inside it, um, glitter. And a couple of these, I have used um, sequins. And um, these mylar flakes. Like, I have these from, I think they're from the part. I know they're from the party section um, at... I believe it was Hobby Lobby. Um, and I also have a ton of these vials with miscellaneous little things in them. Um, I got these from the Dollar Tree, oh gosh, I don't know, a couple of years ago. Um, I was hoarding them because I was using them when I did uh, my own acrylic nails and making glitter mixes. And they have like um, little sequins, little um, mylar flakes in there, and little micro beads. And so I was just dumping stuff like this one has um, a vial that had little gold um, sequins in it, little mini sequins, I guess. And then I used some Martha Stewart Ultra Fine Rose Quartz glitter and the ultra fine glitter will give you um, more of a uh, what's the word I'm thinking of you know it's completely covered like this one looks see-through and this one looks see-through but you see this one is completely coated the micro fine glitter ultra fine glitter will give you a much better finish if you're going for that, the non-see-through, I guess. And um, I love how they turned out. This one is using the green Mylar Flakes. And then I use some uh, iridescent glitter on the inside. Um, one of my greens over here. As you can see, I contaminated it. I accidentally poured the Micro Flakes back in there. Oopsie. But I think this one looks kind of like mercury glass. Looks really cool. So you can use this uh, mop and glow effect. Uh, here's another one. I don't know if I already showed. I think I did. Um, that has just the micro flakes and then some ultra fine glitter inside it. And this one has the micro, um, not the micro, the mica flakes and sequins. And then there's a couple of different colors of glitter on the inside and I love the look with the sequins and here's another one with some sequins so go crazy with your sequins and your micro beads this one had another vial um, that I got from the Dollar Tree one of these that it had little um, little silver stars inside there and I used my Martha Stewart um, ultra fine glitter in lapis is that color and I just love that blue brilliant blue and there is one tiny little heart that managed to sneak in <laughs> and um, 
Anyways, I am having so much fun with this. Here's a couple of the light bulb ornaments that I did. This one is using a chunkier glitter. Um, I believe it was this one. And then I went in um, with the fine glitter after that. And um, I really like how that turned out. It almost looks like um, mermaid fish scales. I don't know why I'm thinking of that. but <sighs> And here's another one with that chunkier um, holographic glitter. I think that's what that's. Um, it's this stuff. This one. And then I used um, this antique or white gold. And I used the super fine white glitter and I also sprinkled just a tiny bit of red in there and it looks almost like mercury glass it's so pretty love how they turned out um, this one is using a chunkier um, tinsel glitter and um, I call this my hairy glitter because it looks like little it's the weirdest thing when you pick it up and um, handle it it's like little hair but, um, anyways, I tried to stamp on the outside of these with stays on, and I don't like it. So, I'm going to have to take my stays on cleaner to that and get it off. And there's a couple of them that I also did with um, acrylic paint. This one is just plain white paint. And, you know, you just pour the paint in, swirl it around, and then tip it upside down um, in a cup to dry. And this one is still drying, but this was a metallic. Um, green with gold in it and I really like how that one turned out so I am having so much fun with these and I hope you guys were able to get to Michael's this morning this is Sunday and catch that deal they had for the doorbuster of the $10 gift card for the first 50 customers um, most of the people that were there this morning had no clue about that um, because they were really sneaky with the ad but I saw it yesterday and made sure I was there at um, a quarter till 10 this morning and I got my $10 gift card and I am loaded up and having fun so I will talk to you guys soon bye